Hey, how's it going, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the text box widget in MapPilot. All right, so the text box widget is basically an input field. Here in my demo.py script, uh, let me go ahead and import the uh, library. And it's going to be import MapPilot.pyplot as plt. And to import the text box widget from MapPilot.widgets, I want to import the text box class. All right, so here let me uh, create two sets of uh, X and Y values. And it's going to be, here let's do uh, 0 to 4 for uh, both X and Y. And I'll create my figure and axis. And I'll set my figure size to, let's do 9 by 6. And I'll plot my graph. All right, so let's take a look. So here's our initial uh, setup or initial graph. On this window, we need to make some room to insert the text box widget. All right, so here uh, I'm going to move this uh, axis container up a little bit. So here I'll reference the plt object dot subplus underscore adjust. And I'll set the bottom value to 0.2. All right, so here's going to be uh, the area where I'm going to insert the text box widget. Now let's say I want to use the text box widget to update my, uh, my chart title. So let's create uh, the X container first. We're going to place the widget. So I'll name the uh, object as x underscore box. It's equals to plt dot axis. And it's going to be the axis uh, area. And I'll set the left value to 0.1, the top value to 0.05. And for the width, let's do 0.8. And for the uh, height, let's do 0.07. And for the All right, so here's uh, this rectangle is going to be the area or the shape we're going to place the uh, text box widget. I can type text box, giving the uh, X container object. Now let me pull over the documentation. All right, so here's the uh, syntax for text box. Let me go back. And if we look at the uh, parameters, so the first parameter is going to be the X object followed by label. And if we want to uh, provide an initial uh, value, when we launch the window, you can use the initial uh, parameter. And color is going to be the text box background color, hover color, and the label path. In terms of the signals, I will have on similar signal, on text change signal, uh, position cursor signal. So this one I don't use it very much. And set value function. I'll demonstrate on submit, on text change, and set value. Uh, just these two members. For the label, let's do title. And I'll name the object as text box. Alright, so here I'm going to uh, reference uh, each signal. This one's going to be on submit. And this one's going to be on text change. So for these two uh, signals, when you fire each signal, it's going to pass the text that is currently in the text box widget. And the set value function will basically update the uh, text in the text box widget. Here, let's do this. Uh, going back to the text box class, I'll set my initial value to, oops, this should be initial. I'll set my initial to hello. So it's going to be the initial uh, default text.
And if we look at the uh, input field, and here's my initial text, hello. But if I call the set value function, and it's going to be override uh, the existing text box value. And I'll change the text box value to, let's do test. So from the previous window, we have hello. And for the updated uh, window, we have test. So the on text change uh, signal will basically fire every time we make an update to the text box. If I press the backspace key, and it's going to uh, call the on text change signal. And the on submit signal is going to fire when you press the enter key or when you set the focus away from the text box to another object. All right, so here, uh, let me create a function called update title. And we're going to pass uh, this function to the unsubmit signal. So inside the function, I just want to update the uh, chart title. All right, so if I launch the graph, now if I type income report and hit enter, and it's going to uh, populate the chart title on the top. Now if I want to change the chart title to expense report, enter, and I'll change the chart title to expense report. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.